there she goes she's got two minutes to get in the school she's going the long way I had gone through the front door myself so it looks like we're back to our old habits of uh, getting to school late <laughs> or almost late uh, today is to uh, take a look at the uh, the drawings of my boat. Uh, I'll print them off online and uh, try to figure out just on paper how I'm going to group things. Be a rudimentary type of thing, but it'll help me get my head around uh, piping and placement stuff. I also have to go visit the blood letter. It's that time, you know. Apparently I'm too pink. I should be a little more pale. So I'll go give some blood and uh, yeah. I forgot about uh, one thing about giving blood in the winter. It's going to get cold. Ugh. So Heater's frozen. What's this cold out here? Let's see what the uh, uh, minus seven point six on the outboard. Okay, I just wanted to take a, a quick peek at this. Twenty four twelve and uh, six or seven. Let's go seven. Okay. That's uh, all I need. Nice looking heater, isn't it? Okay, let's head into the house. Wow, it's cold out here. <laughs> okay, so here we are. This is sailboatdata.com. It has information on pretty much every sailboat that you can imagine. So this has uh, drawings that I'm looking for. For the... Uh, these uh, are the one, the drawings that McGregor's provided. This spot up here is where I plan to put that heater. So it's going to go in there. So in the lazarette right here. And you can see there's a, I guess it's a combing along there. I hope it's going to fit up in underneath there or be close enough. Cause this, this space back in here in the lazarette, uh, it, uh, it doesn't get used because the motor wells right there. So, my plan is to put the motor or the heater on the other side of the motor well and pipe it in through here through these combings through there there's another little gap inside the boat this is the, the sleeping area here and there's a gap back here between the lazarette and the uh, the footwell for the cockpit so I plan to run the hoses in through the lazarat wall come this way across here and come down with two of the hoses one will exit right here and the other one will exit down here near the head of the beds this other side i'll bring both of them in uh, go straight exit one right here and then exit the other one down at this end of the, uh, the bed so there's heat coming out into the cabin area as well as down here. I figure I may as well heat up this area too. Uh, yeah, so that's it. The I think this is the, really the only spot that I've got to mount that thing is in the lazarette. If I try to mount it up here in the uh, the V berth under the V berth, I can't exhaust it out uh, anywhere. That's not going to get water coming in. Uh, so back here, it'll be exhausted out the back of the boat right here, right at this height. And uh, 
And if we're taking waves over the back, uh, there's a lot more to worry about than water getting into the uh, <laughs> to the exhaust. So I'm going to print this off and uh, uh, divide it up, and we'll uh, see if my numbers match with my measurements. So I'm not sure that they will, but we'll we'll try. So here we are. I've measured out my boat. The boat's 26 feet long. Uh, so center is about 13 feet. Anyways, I figured out the lazarette area is about two foot four. It'll probably be a little less than that, but that's uh, that's what I got to work with in this area. So it's going to be tight, but uh, it's going to. Uh, I think it's going to work fine. So there you go. That's a uh, sailboat data. You can well do a screen capture and get the drawings and uh, I just printed this off so um, yeah that that's let me know that I've got that much space it lets me know that six and a half probably uh, eight feet on each side of uh, pipe for to bring uh, the uh, heat heating things out so I'll need two weights something to get across the back so uh, another uh, another eight. Yeah, so I'll need three eights. Let's see. Three times eight foot uh, pipe. So the piece that comes across the back here, we'll cut it. Uh, the one piece will come. Oh, actually, there'll be two across the back. Uh, let's see. We'll make that four eights. Four eights a pipe so there'll be two going across the back one will terminate right here so we'll just use part of the scrap whatever's left over same thing on this side have it terminate there so that'll be a piece of uh, scrap coming out and uh, yeah that'll, that'll work that is gonna work fine uh, yeah there we go so I'm gonna leave it there today now you've learned how I figure out some stuff without getting inside the boat and measuring. Uh, I just steal drawings and uh, draw on them. <laughs> I couldn't end it there. Anyways, uh, I've done a little more drawing. This is where the heater ho hoses are going to go, or the ducting. Uh, and I've marked where the heater itself is going to be. And I think this is going to work out really well. Excited, I'll have some heat and uh, extender season. Yeah, there we go. I'll uh, put a picture on this, a uh, picture of this at the end of the video so you can uh, do a screen capture if you want. Well, uh, thanks for watching. Click clicky things. Uh, be nice to people. Wash your hands. No hugs.